Hello, thank you for having me here. Um, it's very nice to be speaking under whales. Um, I guess better under than in one. Um, speaking of whales, uh, after I graduated from NASCAD in 2010, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, and uh, I decided I would go to an artist residency. And so I was in Iceland for three months. And so this picture is, um, I ran out of canvases, so I started painting my tent. And uh, that ended up being uh, the piece that people liked more than my canvases. So I might start painting more tents. Um, so at the end of my three month residency, I decided to um, camp in the tent as well and go all around the south of Iceland. And then before I camped, I had a show, and this is some of the work that I exhibited with the tent as well. I also like to climb mountains and graze with the sheep. And that was, uh, <laughs> so that was pretty inspiring. And uh, I rented a car and drove around and even on some black sand beaches, which was pretty uh, filled with adventure. And I went, visiting, actually, there's a whale theme here with dolphins, so I really love whales and dolphins and waterfalls, too. And then after that, um, one of the artists said, you should really go to Costa Rica if you like animals and things. Uh, I was at a, a residency, and there was all these butterflies everywhere. And so while I was in Iceland, I applied to go to Costa Rica and they said, come on over. So, <laughs> so I went there and before I knew it, I was making work in a jungle, which was quite wild. My sister called me Mowgli. <laughs> and that was the, the house that I was living in, creating work. And that's what the inside of it looked like. And uh, it was a hard life. Sometimes I'd uh, wake up and uh, I'd swim in the pool for a while and then I'd paint all night. And sometimes I'd get distracted. This is a little praying mantis friend. So there was uh, literally jungle creatures all over the place. That was in my front yard as well, a little frog. And that was my backyard. It was literally a jungle. So I was, some days I'd get woken up by the director of the gallery um, residency and he'd be like, let's go cut down banana trees. And <laughs> so that was pretty cool. <laughs> and then at the end of four months, I uh, had a show at the National Gallery of Costa Rica. And it was a castle. <laughs> and then uh, I came back from Costa Rica and I was living in Montreal for a while. And uh, I was, well as in Costa Rica, I was told that I got into a show at the Beaverbrook Gallery in Fredericton, so I created this work in my house. It was pretty hard to get those uh, paintings everywhere uh, after they were made. I thought there was gonna be a trailer, but actually the place where I bought them, he decided we'd just put them on his roof, so we were like holding them on the roof while we were driving, and it was a snowstorm too, so. But, but it worked out, <laughs> and that was my show there at uh, the Beaverbrook, and uh, Angel Gomez was beside. And then this was another piece, just showing the detail. Sometimes I like to put on different colors of paint, and very generously, I go through paint quite fast. And that was another project in Montreal. I was working with a, a model and a shop called Citizen Vintage, and also working with the designer, so we, went on Pinterest and had all these lookbooks and dream channels and, <laughs> and I usually work with a lot of neons but it was cool to work with pastels. And then this was a piece that I had made for a, a show in Tokyo. <laughs> and this is me with kitten ears in Tokyo. <laughs> and this was a really cool meal that I had. <laughs> And this is some of my newer work right now. Um, trying to work a bit smaller just uh, for space, but I'll start working larger again soon, I imagine. 
um, working with more pastel colors. And at NASCAD, uh, one of my final year mentors was Gary Neal Kennedy, and he encouraged me to use really straight lines with taping off different areas. So I do some gestural lines and also some really hard-edged lines. And it, I like thinking of how colors react with your retinas and the science of colors, so different colors and the way they react and kind of make your eyes vibrate. Actually, a good example is up on the third floor. I think I was supposed to pay up there, but I snuck up. <laughs> And uh, I love different geometric shapes and the way that it can really make your eyes look a different way. Uh, this was actually a piece that I showed here um, in, over there. <laughs> it was with the Art Bank. Um, that was in 2014, I believe. And another one of my paintings. And this piece is in an art bank in Paris, which is pretty neat. <laughs> and this is a piece that is on a business card that I just got printed. And it says, I love mermaids. So <laughs> it's great because the whale theme. <laughs> I should have written notes. <laughs> um, and this is another project I'm working on right now that is a, a year-long project, and it's through the Canada Council of the Arts and also with Imago Print Shop and University of Moncton and Gallery Sonna. So there's many different collaborators, and uh, this portion is all print make, printmaking, so I'm relearning how I did it back in NASCAD with new techniques, and actually I went to um, the archives, New Brunswick Museum, and was looking at different insects and things. It was really amazing. I also do uh, murals. So that's up on a third story scaffolding that with only like a foot to work with <laughs> to stand on, which is kind of scary. And that's a, a larger zoomed out version of it. So it's about 50 feet long and three stories high. And it's strange being on scaffolding because usually I'm just on regular flat floor. <laughs> so I was up there and I'd be getting so into my work or there's, there'd be like a beetle or something and I'd be like, look down. Oh, yeah, I'm still up three stories. So scaffolding isn't something I like to do too often, but it's amazing to work that, that large. And then uh, this is my website, so I guess I'll get more businessy and uh, talk about the ArtsLink course, uh, Catapult. It was so amazing. I learned so many different channels of thought, um, especially with uh, how to promote myself more and post less, less uh, sushi pics and uh, tacos. <laughs> I take a lot of food photos. <laughs> but now I've been trying to just post pictures of my art. So we had to do an ask of the crowd. So. Um, if you have a phone, you should bring it out now and go onto Instagram and you can follow me at Jared Betts. No pressure. <laughs> and thank you very much. <laughs> thank you.